before uh, inserting, you infiltrate the periosteum. Just make a stab incision and then with the jump shady needle, you can enter the lesion. So, you will see through so the same percutaneous incision, you go inside, you feel the giveaway, certain giveaway. Sometimes if the bone is hard, you may have to gently tap it and then you scrape the walls. So, I just want to emphasize a bit about this procedure, how it is done. So, first if say this is the proximal humerus and we know that if there is the growth plate and you have a lesion here. So, you identify the lesion and under the C arm, you insert your needle inside. We know that uh, even simple decompressions which uh, is also a treatment where uh, many people just put a drill hole or put a screw inside to allow the uh, lesion to heal with uh, decompression. So, uh, what we do here, there are multiple different approaches which will help in healing. One is once we put the J needle inside, it decompresses the cavity and then we scrape the lining of this cystic cavity, cystic wall. So, if this is the end of the bones and we have the lining layer here. I will just make it with a different color to understand. This is your lining layer. So, you put the needle inside and you scrape the walls in all the direction so that the lining layer uh, which is which may be the pathological in this case breaks out and then you suck it out. Normally, when you suction it, it is a straw colored fluid in simple bone cyst. Uh, when it is aneurysmal bone cyst, it is more of hemorrhagic. When there is a tumor inside, if it is something like a sarcoma or giant cell tumors, the material which comes out is more like a granulating type of tissue or some fleshy tissue which, which can help you differentiate between different types of diseases. Just a word, when you have a purely cystic cavity, from where do you take the biopsy? If you put your needle inside, whether it will yield something. So, when you put a needle inside, if this is the cavity and you put the needle inside, it is just going to suction out the fluid which is inside. So, it is important if this is the wall, when you go inside, you scrape the walls. You scrape the walls and then keep a syringe attached here and keep it su suctioning so that whatever scrapings are there comes out through this Yamshedi needle and then you collect it for the sample. So, let me show you how we do that. So, you can see now I am scraping and in this video, this is a CM, the fluoroscopy imaging which shows how we scrape it, the walls. So, I will just show you again the procedure that we scrape all the walls. So, you try to break all the, the normally in a pure cystic cavity, there are no septa, but, uh, but you scrape the walls so that you break the lining layer of this bony wall in, and it should be done in all the directions. So, once you have done that, it will, it can itself lead to healing of the cyst, but uh, we know we have to be if we have to be more careful, we want to add something, then this is uh, what is called aspiration technique. So, sometimes we even use one needle, but I am showing you the classical way which has been described when you, we use two needles to aspirate it. And these two Jamshedi needle are uh, very good equipment. So, you put the both the, uh, if this is your humerus, you have inserted your two needles here into the cavity and here is your cystic cavity. You push saline through one of them and then you aspirate it through the other one. 